Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. And in episode 229, I want to talk a little bit about planning for 2024. I know that last week I talked about how to think about 2024 and how to think about engaging with your stakeholders going into this year. But now I want to talk about the simple act of getting everything on the calendar. For example, right now, everyone is getting their calendar filled up with all of the meetings and activities for the coming year. To do this right for your resilience life cycle. So for business continuity here, I'm thinking about um, how do we kick off the year? How do we structure steering committee meetings and plan for those? How do we plan the work of taking updated or taking, uh, I'm sorry, taking current business continuity plans and their business impact analysis um, that are affiliated with those plans? And how do we start to plan for the updates to those that need to happen throughout the course of the life cycle? How do we start to think about what changes have happened in the organization that we need to capture here in terms of potentially creating new business continuity plans? And then I'm thinking about how do we train teams? How do we update the policies? How do we update our documentation? How do we um, begin to think about business continuity exercises for the year? And then any follow-on plan updates that need to happen. So thinking about that entire life cycle of business continuity activities that you need to execute on. Now is the time to plan all of those and put out a program calendar for the year showing that you have thought through the right way to approach this. Second, um, from a crisis management standpoint, then I start to think about, all right, so we need to review and update our, our crisis management policies, our plan and framework, if there is such a thing, our checklists or procedures, our other collateral like meeting agendas and training material and others. When the plan is done, I need to get it approved. When the plan updates are done, I need to get those approved. Um, I need to train my crisis management team and others to those changes in the plan. And then I need to think about how I exercise the plan, whether that's I do a once a year annual exercise or it's a couple exercises for the year. Maybe it's quarterly. And then how do I meet with my crisis management team throughout the course of the year? We always encourage folks to have quarterly meetings. And in some of our clients, we have monthly meetings with the crisis management team in order to keep them informed and be able to continue to move the program forward from day to day, week to week, month to month, and accomplish the goals that we have set for the year. So that's a little bit about the kind of activities I would encourage you to think about planning for your business continuity and crisis management program now and get those in place as the year kicks off. I would encourage you to plan these out to send out the invites for the meetings, whether they're in person or virtual, and get those all established and on your program calendars right now. I would also encourage you to think about how do I explain the program in a simple way for the year? So what collateral do you need in order to do that? I would think about a brief presentation deck perhaps where you lay out your program goals for the year. Here's what we're trying to accomplish this year. And here's the program calendar. And by the program calendar, I mean a high-level calendar that basically lays out across the 12 months of the year, here are the things that are going to be happening. That might be, for example, here's what we're doing from a business continuity plan update perspective for existing business continuity plans. We're doing that in Q2. Q1 is about updating our documentation. Q2 is about updating our plans and that material. Q3 is about creating new business continuity plans. And Q4 is going to be about exercises and then preparing for the coming year. That's a pretty simplified way of thinking about it, but that's one way to kind of lay things out in a really simple way that you can show to your leaders and your stakeholders and your steering committee what your goals are for the year from a program standpoint and how you're gonna go about achieving those within the organization. So as you plan for 2024, and as you think about the activities in the weeks and months ahead, those are some basics I would encourage you to start to put into place now. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. We'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel 
And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.